Hello everyone, I'm speaking to you on location from the beautiful Welsh island of Anglesey where I'm staying for the week in this holiday home and staying in a holiday home means there's new appliances to look at so I've made a video of the washing machine that will be coming up it's a Hoover washing machine if you're interested and I'm also going to show you the vacuum cleaner and when I opened the door to the cupboard I thought the vacuum cleaner would be in my heart sank I'll show you what it is it makes a right racket there's something wrong with it it picks up the bits but it's a bit of a relic. Do you want to see what it is? It's this. Not a Henry, as most holiday homes I've been in have. No, not a Henry. It's one of these. Yes, it's an old school Dyson. A Dyson DC-14. This is just a basic model. Could have been called the Origin, I think. Because this doesn't have brush roll control. So it's not really suitable for floors, but I have used this on hard floors because there's nothing else. It sounds awful. It, it's, well, I'll, I'll switch it on. There's something wrong with it. And I noticed, I think there's a rattle. There's something rattling about in here. I don't know if it's in the hose or what, but yeah, it's, it was a bit disappointing to find this. I've emptied it since I got here. I've used it a couple of times. I've looked at the filter. I don't think I'll be giving this a service. I don't have any tools with me. I'm just going to leave it, but I might wash the filter and um, yeah, do the owners a favor. But yeah, this is, I did have a DC-14. I think the one I used to own was the Allergy model. I think it was because it had white where the cyclone was. It was white with a hint of orange and it possibly had a white base. I'm not sure, but this is definitely bottom of the range. I mean, it seems so clunky now. I mean, it's not that old really in Dyson history, but yeah, it's not too good. This Dyson does have all the tools, however. So we've got a dusting brush. It's well used, isn't it? You can angle it. I think you can, yes, it's a bit stiff. So the dusting brush there fits on the top of the cyclone. Then you've got this, which I attempted to clean the stairs with. I've also cleaned um, the bed of the room I'm sleeping in because it got dog hairs on it. So I used that. And we've also got at the side here, the crevice tool, which has, I was gonna say it's had a repair, but it's not had a repair. What they've done, they've blocked off the air vent here, which they obviously found it was not picking up enough. So they've just blocked it off. You shouldn't really do that because when you block off the end, the hose is gonna retract back into the machine. So that is, I don't think that's repaired. I'm not gonna to touch it. It's not my cleaner. So that goes on there. At the back, we've got the cord storage with a hook you turn down. We can release the cable in one go. I'm going to plug in. I'll just give you a warning. If you're listening using earphones, you might want to turn down the volume. I'll warn you just before I switch the machine on. Plug in. We have the built-in hose at the back here, which, um, let's see, I think, yes, I remember now, you've got this little cap. Pull out the wand, give it a bit more of a tug, and then you can pull out the hose and sort of reach up the stairs. It does fight with you rather, it's filthy, look. But it looks like it hasn't split. And we can put the, the nozzles on the end like so, it's a bit, oh, it's a bit awkward. It makes it a bit easier to take off the wand. You've got two little buttons. And you can put the tools. This is how I cleaned the bed earlier. Was it yesterday I cleaned the bed of the dog hairs? Sort of, got most of them up, but it was hard work. And always the hose is fighting against you. It wants to pull it back into the machine. It's hard work, I must say. So, there's the hose. Let's pop that back on there. Is it going to clip in place? There we are. The hose does come off if you get a blockage. I believe, I think you have to access it the other way. If we take the bin off, the button here at the top to remove the bin. To remove the hose, you can, it's absolutely dusty, filthy. There's a little button, can you see there folks? You press that in and the hose will come out. 
if you suspect you have a blockage. Well, I've got the bin off, we'll look at the bin in a minute. But we'll pop the, uh, the hose back on the wand, click it into place like so, and we'll slide it back on. Push down the wand into the hose, as long as you've got it in correctly. Come on, go in there. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. It's a while since I've had one of these. It should click in. There we go. There it, that's it, yeah. It wasn't in properly. So that's it, we've got on off button here, whoop, here. Oh, I won't do it because it is plugged in. Just one on off button. As I said, it's a single motor machine so um, you can't turn off the brush or it doesn't have the clutch mechanism that certain models have. And you can check for blockages here if it was blocked. And also, there's another port you can remove to check for blockages. Just down here is a little elbow piece that you can remove. And you can see a bit dusty, but it's not blocked. There we are. That fits back in there. This is the underside of the machine. The brushes don't look too bad. I don't know if this is a replacement brush roll, but they, they've seen seem to have a lot of life left in them. You can remove this uh, base plate here. You don't need tools actually, just a uh, coin would uh, undo those three. It's definitely been off though. I think this is just a belt driven. I don't know if it's two belts or one. I think it's just a single belt because this, this is a non-clutched model. This is another area. This, there's definitely something loose. This is another, the internal hose here can split. Um, oh, what's that? Ah, oh, hang on, hang on, folks. Oh, I've just found what could be causing, well, I found a screw. That, that won't help. There's also another screw. This um, holiday home I'm in at the moment has been recently renovated. So perhaps this was, cleaner was used in the re renovations because, Let's see if I can shake that out. This, the, the screws in here could have been causing the noise. Oops, it's all falling to bits, folks. Why I'm bothering, it's not my vacuum. I wouldn't bother with it, I'd get, get rid. Oh, I've got it, I've got it. Another little screw, so I'll, I'll get rid of those. So I don't know if it's going to improve the sound of this machine, it's, it sounds awful. But a couple of screws, will not help. A couple of loose screws. People tell me I've got a screw loose, but this Dyson had two, but I don't think the screws are from the machine. They don't look familiar. I think they're just been <laughs> random screws picked up. Um, there may, I think there's a filter under there, but I'm not gonna attempt to look at it. The post motor filter, that will be black bright. <laughs> it will be filthy under there. I'm not going to service this machine. I'm here to enjoy a holiday. I'm not here to service the holiday homes vacuum, especially when it's this, you know, <laughs> not really my cup of tea at all. So this is the bin. It's quite a large capacity. As I said, I've emptied it and I did my best to tap the bin on the side of the dustbin and loads of fine dust came out, but I think I've just uh, scraped the top of the iceberg with the amount of muck that will be in those cyclones. I did have a brief look at the filter it is pretty dirty, not horrendous, is it? But I will, I'll do a kindness and I'll wash that. I'll wash it tonight so it's dry in the morning. I will be vacuuming the whole holiday home on our last day just to leave it clean. But yeah, look, yucky. All that filth in there. And as I said, I'm sure I could tap more dirt out of this or if I had my little air cleaner to blow out all the dust I could but I'm not doing it it's not mine I might wipe that with a wet wipe wash the filter empty it before we go but that's about all I'm going to do with this machine okay I'll put the bin back on and switch on headphone users lower the volume now
I still don't like the sound of this cleaner so I've managed to find something to undo these screws. I'm just trying to get this base plate off and just to see if I can remove whatever's rattling about. I suspect it's another screw. There we go. Are you going to come off? Oh, that's better. That's it. There we are. Ugh. It's not too bad this. I mean it could be worse. I need to get some thread off there. Yes, it looks it looks like a single belt drive on this machine. What's that? Ah, ah. A hair clip. That won't help with the noise level. I mean they're pretty noisy anyway these cleaners, but that's that hair, hair clip rattling about. Just going to um, give the machine a bit of a shake or some more bits have fallen out. I'm going to shake it, see if anything else will drop out of this cleaner. That might make it a little less rattly, I think. Yeah, that hair grip was not helping at all. While I'm at the bottom, some of you will complain that I haven't shown it. We'll just have a quick look at the rating sticker. This is a Dyson DC14, serial number 442UKA, 50589, it's 230 to 240 volts, 50 hertz, 1400 watts, made in Malaysia by Dyson Limited. I can't help myself folks, wherever I see a dirty vacuum, I've got to whip out the wet wipes and give it at least a bit of a clean up. <laughs> The humble vacuum cleaner has to put up with a lot in its lifetime and most people don't really care for them. They get clogged up, they break, the belt snaps and they just go out and buy another one. Yet a few minutes spent every month, even 10 minutes a month, just looking after your machine will pay dividends in the long run, especially the time we're living in at the moment where things are going up in price and people can't afford a new vacuum. All that may be needed is a good filter wash, a new belt, check for blockages, give it a wipe, give it a bit of a polish and you might get another couple of years out of your machine and then hopefully things will have improved and you'll be able to get a new one. That, lo that looks a bit better. But yes, this brush roll, uh, I, I don't know if it's a replacement, it might be. I'm not sure if this model would have had that unusually shaped brush roll, sort of really a different style. This is more of a traditional cylindrical brush roll. You can see there is a belt on this. Yeah, it is single belt being a non-clutched model. I'm just going to wipe, wipe what I can see. That'll do. Give the base plate a bit of a wipe at the front there, look, a bit of dirt in there. And we'll switch the machine on again. It's not going to sound much different, but I think getting rid of those two screws and that hair clip will help this machine because that hair clip could have moved into another position and then caused some serious damage perhaps. But anyway, the people <laughs> who rent their holiday homes to me are very lucky because often they get their vacuum serviced, they get their carpets cleaned, they get their washing machine cleaned, sometimes even the dishwasher I fill with, with rinse aid and all sorts. I know it's sad but I quite enjoy doing it and it's a bit of different content for you to watch when I'm on location but because I've got a caravan now I don't tend to go in holiday homes as much as I used to, so I'm grabbing the opportunity now to help this poor old cleaner live another few years cleaning up inside this uh, lovely house in Anglesey. That'll do for now. I'll get this all back together and switch on again.
Well, there you go. That's the Dyson DC-14 sounding a little bit better than it did at the start of the video. I will do the owner a favour by washing the filters and emptying the bin. It's picked up quite a lot of dirt actually, just over the bedroom and the landing that I've just cleaned because I did empty this bin. So it is still picking up, although rather noisily, but I think it will improve if I uh, take this filter out. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's even genuine Dyson. Possibly, possibly not. Yes, well that is. It's got Dyson on it and the tap symbol. So um, because it's not my washing machine, I'm going to pop this in the washing machine downstairs, give it a, a fairly quick low temperature wash, and hopefully this will be a lot cleaner and might slightly improve the suction power of this Dyson DC-14. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this Dyson, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.